This is how to install Windows 11 for beginners. You'll need a clean 8GB or larger USB stick and a working computer to download the ISO file onto. First, we need to go to the Downloads page, link in the description. Once you're there, scroll down to Windows Disk Image ISO for x64 devices. Select Windows 11. Click Download Now and it's going to want to validate your request, but that shouldn't take too long. Select your language. I'm going with stupid tech jargon as it's my native language. Click confirm. It's going to want to validate your request again. And once it's done that, you can click 64 bit download. If for some reason it doesn't validate you, try disabling any ad blockers or VPNs you have, or try a different browser because Microsoft. Now a moment of silence for those of us with glacial internet speeds. This 5.4 gigabyte file is gonna take some time. Next, you're going to need a USB stick of a reasonable size, eight gigabytes or more should work, and a little tool called Ventoy for burning the ISO into the drive. Download link also in the description. Once you're here, you need to download it. The version doesn't really matter, just make sure you have the one that ends in your operating system, such as Linux if you're using a Linux computer, and Windows if you're using a Windows computer. Now don't panic, but we're going to open the command prompt. This is just to check that we have the actual Ventoy file and not malware. Unless you downloaded it from an unofficial source, you very likely do have the correct file, but this is just to make sure. Run this command, replacing my file path with a path to your zip file. Now take this large string of letters and numbers, copy it, go into a text difference finder, paste it there, go back to the Ventoy page, and copy the large string of letters and numbers right behind the version of Ventoy that you downloaded, and paste it here. I'm not sponsored by any of these ads. Now compare the difference. The two texts are identical. Excellent! If yours are as well, then you can continue to the next step. However, if they don't match, please eject your PC into the nearest incineration plant and buy a new one. Now extract the zip file, find the file labeled ventoy2disk.exe and run it. Now grab your USB drive, making sure there's no data on it that you want, and plug it into your PC. Then select it in the drop-down menu labeled device. Click install, then yes, then yes, and boom, Ventoy is installed. Now you want to copy the Windows ISO onto the Ventoy drive. If you have two, like I do right here, select the one that's labeled just Ventoy. Now we begin the actual installation process. Go to the PC you want to install Windows onto, make sure it's off, plug the USB stick in and turn it on. So you have your USB stick plugged into your PC and now turn it on. If the drive you're installing Windows onto is blank, it should boot straight to Ventoy. Otherwise, you'll need to go into BIOS and set the USB stick as the first boot. The BIOS can usually be accessed with F2, F12 or delete, depending on your motherboard. It's alive. And we're in. Scroll down to the version you're installing, I'll be using Windows 11, and select boot in normal mode. Keyboards and mice both work in Ventoy, by the way. Select your language and keyboard layout, then choose Install Windows. Check I agree everything will be deleted, including files, apps, and settings, because it will. Click Accept without reading applicable notices and license terms, because of course that's what you should do. Select the disk you're installing Windows onto. If you have a blank drive, it's usually the largest amount of unallocated space. Now click Install. Two hours later. The first part of the setup you can speed through, perhaps I live in Belgium, but it gets tricky when it asks you to connect to a network. Here's the thing, if you don't want to sign up with a Microsoft account, you have to be disconnected from the internet. As you can see, however, there is no option for that. But thankfully, there's a workaround. Press Shift F10 to open the command prompt. On some devices, it might be Shift Function F10. Type OOBE backslash bypass NRO. Now hit enter. Your computer will now restart and you'll have to go through setup again. But once you reach the network screen, there should be an I don't have internet button. Now you can create your user account. Uber secure password. Uncheck all of these so Microsoft can't collect your data as much. And boom, Windows installed. The last thing I like to do when installing Windows is uninstall all of the unnecessary apps that come with it. Uninstall, add or remove programs, and just scroll through here and remove everything we don't need. You don't have to install the ones that I uninstall, I just remove them because I've never used them. That includes Copilot, Feedback Hub, Bing Search, ClipChamp, DaVinci Resolve is far superior. I'd love to uninstall Microsoft Edge, but as everybody knows, if you do that, your computer will break. Not to mention, you can't really. Don't need Microsoft News. I personally don't use OneDrive, but a lot of people do, so you don't need to uninstall that. I also don't use Teams, or Microsoft To Do, or this, or this. Don't need Quick Assist. Don't need Sticky Notes. And now, if we just run Disk Cleanup to get rid of all of that junk, then boom, your Windows operating system should be ready to go.